I'm Keisha from carseedblog.com. Today we're going to be talking about chest clips, specifically the purpose and function of chest clips as well as the proper placement of the chest clip on your child in the car seat. Okay, the chest clip is this piece of plastic right here and as the name implies, it goes chest, mid-chest, armpit level. Okay, basically you don't want it to be up in your child's throat but it shouldn't be all the way down here in the abdomen either. Okay, so mid-chest, armpit level, don't sweat half an inch either way. The purpose of the chest clip is simply to keep the harness straps centered over your child's shoulders, okay? It is a pre-crash positioner, that's all it is. In a crash, it actually serves no function or purpose. Its purpose is that going into the crash, that the harness straps are placed where they should be over your child's shoulders. Uh, it is basically just a piece of plastic. So sometimes in the field we see parents who buckle just the chest clip and leave the buckle unbuckled. I will tell you that that is a recipe for disaster. Okay, the chest clip is nothing but a piece of plastic that serves no purpose in a crash. So please make sure that the buckle is always buckled and that the chest clip is doing its job as a pre-crash positioner uh, centered over your child's chest. Basically just so that the harness is in the correct position. Uh, chest clips are actually not required as per our Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. Um, they actually are not used in Europe on European seats at all. There is some clause in their standards which states that the child must be able to be released from the seat in one motion. And obviously you can't do that if you have a chest clip. So, a seat in Europe would basically look like this. This is actually an American seat. I've taken the chest clip off. I'm not advocating that you do that. It's the same seat as this one here. I just want to, for comparison's sake, be able to show you what the seat would look like if you took the chest clip off. And as you can see, the harness is still centered and wrapped properly over the child's shoulders. This child in Europe would be very well protected by a seat that doesn't have a chest clip. So don't get hung up too, too much on the chest clips, just make sure that they're in their proper position. Again, I'm not advocating that you take the chest clip off if it's mandated by your car seat manufacturer to use it, really just trying to show the difference between the two. In this case, you can see that the chest clip, because it's small, is drawing the harness straps together, um, which is, I will be honest, very helpful when you have a small or low birth weight or preemie baby. You really want that smaller size chest clip um, because it will make a bigger difference, uh, especially if your baby has very narrow shoulders. In comparison, there are some seats that have much larger chest clips. This is almost like a toddler size or a size that you would find on a convertible seat. And you can see the difference in how it's not really drawing the harness straps together like the smaller chest clip is. However, it's still serving its intended function as a pre-crash positioner. And in this case, it is doing a good job of keeping the harness straps over the small doll's shoulders. There is yet one other different type of chest clip. And you don't see these as often anymore. They were sort of standard issue on car seats of uh, yesteryear. And it's a one-piece chest clip, okay? So there was no two pieces that came together. It didn't lock in any way. The harness was essentially threaded through this one side. And then the harness on the other side, you slid, how did this work? Yes, it was this way. Okay, you slid this back and then you threaded the harness strap behind that little hook and it held it to place. So there was nothing that locked or anything like that. But again, it's a pre-crash positioner. It served its function and these are very safe and you might still see them from time to time on certain seats. Okay, so that's your primer on chest clips. We hope that this has been helpful for you and please see carseatblog.com for more information. Thanks.